Hey guys, um, I have to be out today, so let me give you all a heads up as to what we're uh, doing. Um, we're doing a topic that uh, a lot of y'all are already familiar with, the age structure diagrams, so those population pyramids, but they're not always population pyramids. Uh, you had experience with these in uh, freshman year, so think back to your awkward uh, ninth grade year in, in, um, in World Geo, I think it was. So what is an age structure diagram? That's your first thing to, to figure out, and then, Shape is everything when it comes to these guys. Interpret the population growth from the shape of an age structure diagram. So is it like a population pyramid? Is it like football shape where it's like small at the top and bottom or bulging out on the sides? Deflate gate, anyone? Um, um, what does a population pyramid look like? That tells you is a country growing in population, shrinking in population, or is it like steady as she goes? Specifically, you need to relate the RNI, CBR, and CDR. You already know these terms. I hope so. You have a quiz on Friday. So the crude birth rate and crude death rate determine the RNI, the rate of natural increase, a new term for us, the TFR, total fertility rate. Um, how does that relate to these age structure diagrams? That's what determines the shapes. And then uh, recognize that a rapidly growing population will have a higher proportion of uh, younger people. Cool. Good, good to know. So what are you going to do? I made these for you. This is waiting for you already in the Google Classroom. This is uh, just for reference. Here's the, uh, the learning targets and success criteria again. So by following these links, you'll be able to fill out your um, notes pages. So the first uh, country you're going to research is Nigeria. The second one you're going to research is uh, countries that are like France and French, France-like. And then countries like Germany and, and countries that are Germany-like. So these are, I chose these uh, countries on purpose. They're very representative. So what are you gonna do? Well, let's take a look at what Nigeria's actual uh, population pyramid looks like. That's not Nigeria. So let me go back. That's Mother Russia. And this will be good because what I have to do, I make sure I'm in the world, not the US. I make sure I'm in the world. And then I search for Nigeria. I scroll down. Man, look at the human population move, Marshall. So I scroll, scroll, scroll all the way down to Nigeria. There's got to be a way we can just like search it. Cool. And now um, I can go down and I can see what Nigeria's age structure diagram looks like. Let me recreate that. Also, let me notice the slope of Nigeria's growth. Wow, up and up and up and up. And look at the population pyramid. The biggest age group is the babies. Wow, so much of this population is pre-reproductive. That means they're, they're going to be growing for a while. So now that I know what it looks like, let me go recreate it by, like, shrinking these guys. So this needs to be very, very small. This needs to be very, very large. I'll give you time to do that all the way out. Do it for both the male side and the female side. Remember, we're pretending that there's only two genders and that they're binary and fixed. That's old school thinking. But it, if I put myself in that mindset, it lets me make predictions. Cool. So I do that for all the countries. What type of growth was it? It was this guy. So let me just like get rid of these guys. And let me go in and enter these uh, criteria, these uh, population dynamics. What is the CBR, the CDR, the RNI? And what is that country's total fertility rate? What's the average number of kids each one was having? To fill in that one, I need to go to this link right here, and that'll take me to this country. This is a part, move, Marshall, that gets kind of um, hard to see as I search. I come over here. This is the one where I just scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. Um, Nigeria, and then don't forget to hit the submit button. And then once I do that, I can go and I can copy this data. So there's the growth rate. If you want to double check yourself, take the CBR minus the CDR, divide by 10. That does the uh, country's growth rate, the rate of natural increase, and there's a the fertility rate. So I go in and I enter that for the three countries that teacher told me to. Enter in that data and finally, after you're done with that, check out this cool video and see if you want to quiz yourself. So that's what we're doing. Uh, age structure diagrams, super important. Um, watch the video when you're done. I freaking love this video. It does such a cool, it, it really tells us why we should learn about this super important topic. It's on the quiz. There's four questions on the test, and it will definitely be on your test uh, in May. Have fun with it. Be safe, be good. And I'll see you guys on Friday for the quiz. Bye.